Hi, welcome to SOLIDWORKS 2017 video tutorial. I want to do the Geneva Drive now in SOLIDWORKS. And if you assembled your parts in a correct way, you can, of course, rotate the components and work with physical dynamics between this component, that one, and maybe this one. Those two would be enough. Resume the drag, and then if you drag this around, it moves accordingly. If you ask for a motion study, there's a small problem with the motion study. So let's go to the motion study. You have two possibilities. You can do an animation or you can do a basic motion. With animation you can have a motor for driving that crank around that axis. That's possible. But you cannot have contact. And if you have no contact this will not move. So animation it's really just moving parts to position and then let the program calculate the positions in between. That's yeah, like an animation program. And if you go for basic motion, you can have a motor and you can have contact. So if you turn this, this will move, but it will not stop moving. That's the problem. It will uh, lower the speed according to the mass and all the physical and mechanical properties of those parts. So there's no really good or fast way to do it with the motion study. So I will do it with move component. And enough talking, let's have fun with SOLIDWORKS. Okay, so we'll start with an empty assembly and I will insert my components and I will go for step files or solid work files, solid work files, and I will insert all of them. Sorry, no, just deselect, select first the base and then select the other ones. Open. Now this will be fixed automatically. Click and now put those other parts somewhere in space. Okay, I need another copy of this one. That's the shaft. So Control Z, Control V, and I get another one. Okay, now let's assemble this. Please note the base is already fixed in space. So I want to have this one and that one concentric. This one and that one concentric. This face and that face should be aligned coincident. This one and that one should be aligned coincident. Okay. Now that one and this one should be concentric and let's take a look. So this face and maybe that face, because it's easier to select, should be coincident. Okay. That face and this face should be coincident. That's okay. Let's go for this one. So that face and this face should be concentric. Of course, this face and that face should be coincident. Now, that face and this one 
concentric and again align those this face and maybe that one coincident this doesn't work so seems I yes the last one I've missed so I will delete this one select it again this face and that face should be concentric and now it should work so for example this face and that face should be coincident this one and that one now this face and that one should be concentric and this face and that face should be coincident and this face and that face should be concentric okay and I have to align those parts the wheel and the pin so I will go for a tangent condition right there I don't think that's wrong so maybe delete it yes and turn it over there now again make this one and that one tangent it's more like it okay and I will suppress this last constraint I need it only for positioning and now I can move a component and I can rotate a component and with physical dynamics and it should check this part and that pin resume drag and then you can drag with your mouse that wheel so let's take a short look at the motion study okay so what's the problem with the motion study I don't want to do a motion analysis I do just want to do a motion study so you see you can have an animation or a basic motion with animation there is no consideration of the physical mechanical properties of those parts which means it's more like uh, the stuff which I did in Inventor, Fusion and even in Katia. So you can have a motor in animation which turns that shaft maybe with 20 rpm okay and confirm now you need contact and if you want to do contact there's a message you can't have contact in animation you can have it only in basic motion and then I could of course select the components which should have contact so this one and that one if you choose this one as well you could have interferences between this part and that part because I imported those parts and yeah they're slightly not as accurate as they needed so let's confirm this and let's take a look what happens so it turns but see that wheel doesn't stop and that's the problem it has sort of inertia and moves on yeah that's the problem so you could do it with an animation but in animation you would have to move the parts to the correct positions and then 
let the program do the calculations in between, which is very time consuming. The positioning of the parts, the correct positioning of the parts. So I found no way to stop that wheel in any way in that basic motion, so we can't use it. Sorry for that, and I don't want to do an analysis. So, hope you enjoyed it anyway. If you liked it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, please subscribe to my uh, Facebook cat fan page and please like it over there. It would be very nice of you. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.